Hi friends, welcome to Live in Germany channel. This is your Arun. So today I am back with a very important uh, topic uh, for the month actually. This is very interesting and uh, it's very useful if you are living in Germany already or if you are interested in Germany. So before I move on to tell you what is the content about, I request every one of you to please click on the uh, subscribe button and the bell icon so that you can follow my videos and get more information and help. And uh, the reason also this time I want to say specific is, I, I make a lot of videos now almost every week, two or three, and I have difficulty posting it on the Facebook groups because when I post in many groups, it becomes spam and the friendly Facebook admins have a problem. So they have requested me to post maybe one video, one uh, video link per week or per month also. So I, I respect that. So if you are really interested, please don't, don't hesitate to click on the subscribe button. So I also thank the Facebook admins for coming up and then telling me this. Uh, so I can also channelize myself and uh, also allow the others to post their post on uh, Facebook. So thanks for that. So the next, before I tell you what, uh, we move on to the word of the day section. This section will tell you like what we're going to talk about. You can also learn some new words in uh, German. So today we're going to have a look at uh, the first word of the day. That's the, the household. It's a masculine word. It means uh, budget. And the next word is das Verbot. It means ban. And the third word is die Umwelt. It's a feminine word, which means environment. And uh, the transport, which is a masculine word, it's uh, transport. <laughs> you know it already. So you can almost guess like what I'm going to talk about. In Germany right now, there is a, a speech going about the uh, budget discussion. Uh, what's going to happen 2020 and like some items has been banned and a lot about climate talks and about transport changes and so on. So I've collected like some of the important points that happened in this month so far and also that is going to happen in the next days. So everything which you see here is also documented in the blog. So if you're someone who are more interested to read, you can click on the blog, read about it also. It's also in English. You can share it. You can correct me if something is wrong. This is, uh, this is just out of interest. I collected them. So the first point of the day is the ban of plastic. So what comes under this? Uh, I think some of you have already exp uh, uh, experienced this. Like Aldi is actually introducing cost for every uh, polythene bag you are buying uh, or using or buying from them. So this is the first step they took. But now the government, uh, German government is a discussion on how to ban these plastics completely like these polythene thin polythene covers and not even the uh, biodegradable bags are allowed anymore from 2020. So they have said like, okay, we'll give you a maximum of six months for the traders to clear off their stocks and then we'll stop. So if you're a trader and watching this, please make sure. And they also said, if it is not uh, followed, then we can put a fine up to 100,000 euros. That's a lot of money. So this is a very useful thing. I think when our country also comes with this, we can really come out of this pollution problem. And the next important point is the banking, better banking. The reason for I put as better banking is it's not anymore this uh, one authentication where you give the pin. I think most of you have got the updates from your bank. It's due to the European Payment uh, Services Directive, PSD2. It's going to be introduced from September 14, that is tomorrow, uh, technically, where you have to start using two-factor authentication. It means you give a uh, your PIN number and then also your uh, photo tan. So if you're someone who has not yet installed your photo tan, uh, please do do that or order this uh, photo tan reading uh, machine so that you can follow. And one more fact about this is this is not just for transferring the money or something. It's also for online shopping. So if you are doing online shopping, make sure you uh, have this also with you. Yeah. So this is the point. So the next one is uh, about the DHL price increase. This is for the bank customers. So I don't want to jump in much deep. So they have increased 10 cents per parcel or something for uh, the bank, uh, the uh, the business customers actually. So this is one uh, point. The next is about the asylum seekers. The government has planned to reduce their uh, contribution by 10 euros. It's not a lot, but they have taken the first step. Like I think they have been receiving uh, 354 or something. Now it's going to go to 344 if I'm not wrong. But they have increased for children between 6 to 13 years old uh, by 26 euros uh, per month. So that has been increased. And also they are planning to uh, give a tax free allowance of 200 euros if they do a voluntary work. So uh, that's the thing uh, update about the asylum seekers right now. So there has been a lot of complaints that a lot of money is being directly given and it's been misused. So government is trying to change. So uh, this system, so they're doing that. And other important is uh, 
support for midwives like the people who take care of uh, pregnant women and also uh, the newborn babies uh, this is especially in bavaria so they have introduced if somebody is moving to bavaria after september 1st they can get a a bonus it's called a bonus of almost 5000 euros i guess let me check what the name is uh, it's called niederlassungsprami so if you are someone who's hiring a person to take care of you during your pregnancy and they are moving here or your freelancer who's doing this uh, service or a job then you can actually uh, claim this from the uh, government i guess if i'm not wrong so this is a very important news so a lot of people are having midwives here also so they can use it i don't know if it's allowed like if you bring your own parent to take care of your wife or child but for now this is my news so next is about youtube originals so from september 24th if the date is not uh, wrong it's becoming free so everybody can get access to the youtube uh, original series only catches that you have to be subscribed to that so this is very good i don't know what the other uh, uh, competitors are offering in turn but this is something very interesting so these are all the small points so now let's get into very serious stuff if you have been watching so long uh, that means you're really serious about the video so next one is the uh, about angela merkel's budget speech i'm not talking about what the other critics spoke or what uh, comments they had i just want to say few words so this is the point so let's see like what the chancellor has said about the budget right now so i'll just say some quotes which has been translated from german to english one is uh, she has taken very good uh, mention about the climate protection so she has said like it's very important to spend now so this is what she said the money is well spent if we ignore it now it uh, it will cost us more so if we don't spend the money on climate protection this will be a huge headache for us later so we should do that and what she has said is we should promote more digitalization and she want to increase the optical fiber connection in in germany so that there is proper internet connection for everybody here so in the rural area it's still a problem it seems so they she wants to do that and then also like stronger ties with every other eu and then also integration of the people who are coming new here and this, this is intolerance like that's happening around in germany right now she also addressed this task and said it is highly uh, uh, commendable and it's very bad and she wants to do something about it also and what else she uh, spoke about like two points about brexit she said like we still have time to make a deal on it and if even if a deal doesn't happen germany is very well prepared to handle that also that was her speech and then coming again next one like she wants to make everything uh, move in the direction of artificial intelligence like more importance to this field so they also have some strategy of uh, inviting new professor and invest investing a lot of money in this area so these were the gist we could say what i could hear from the uh, speech of angela merkel so i am making a very detailed video of this draft budget what they have putting this the link will come in the next days so if you are interested please do stay in touch with the uh, thing so what next happened is we know uh, that people have been talking a lot about climate now so climate talks is something that's been discussed so this coalition which is ruling germany had come up with lot of plans i just mentioned what uh, chancellor told there are two parties involved one is called spd another is called csu csu and uh, cdu are like um, sisters i guess so they are like two parties which are very closely bonded spd is an alliance party with them so what did spd say spd offered saying okay we will introduce a new system uh, of an yearly ticket for a city that cost only 1 euro per day that is 365 euros per ticket per year for a person so they want to increase the public transportation or people using public transportation so how do they want to manage it they want to introduce a co2 tax or a carbon tax for the people who are using a lot of uh, gasoline or petrol or diesel and this money will be paid back or a subsidized tickets will be provided for people who are using more eco friendly ways maybe they'll introduce something for the bicyclists also we don't know but the first recommendation is this it's already been in discussion all these facts uh, i mean points will be discussed on september 20th on climate council so i will wait till that if i get an update on that i'll definitely let you know the next one is even more good the csu actually has come up with the idea okay let's step uh, take a one step further and they want to uh, give everybody a chance to buy more energy efficient appliances so if you are buying a new refrigerator or a wash machine when it is highly energy efficient or if you have a old heating system especially and then you are you are you want to change it they can claim up to a uh, 10000 euros of tax in tax return so this is the proposal they have given if this comes into act it will be really good 
So this is what has happened on the climate talks. Let's wait till the climate summit. And I have still two more points for the day. The first is about a uh, ban of glyphosate. I hope my pronunciation is uh, correct. And this is actually a pesticide that's been largely used in Germany. So Germany has come up to say, okay, we'll ban this starting from 2020. And uh, just uh, information, uh, DB Bahn, the Deutsche Bahn is one of the hugest customers of this pesticide. So what is so bad about this pesticide? It's actually uh, been thought to bring cancer to people. And also it kills a lot of weeds actually, which is the purpose, but it also uh, destroys the ecosystem is the complaint. And Austria has already banned it, it seems. So Germany is taking one step further and we should also make sure this information is passed on to your whole country so that we don't get affected by cancer in our homelands also. So the last point of the day is the green seal of textiles. So every cloth you buy from now will come with the green seal. So what is this green seal about? So the uh, development minister has uh, given an information saying, okay, uh, we will buy only if the textile employees and the source from which we buy is correct and proper and legalized. Because last year in Bangladesh, if I'm not wrong, almost 1,100 people died when a tower collapsed in the, in the textile industry. So this was highly spoken on and impacted and very conscious people have taken a decision. Okay, we'll start with something. We don't know how it will be implemented, but now this is the first stand they're having. So this month we have had a lot of uh, new points, I guess, compared to August. There is also something new about Kita, which is not yet confirmed. I have, I have, uh, I have written to the uh, family armed in Bund uh, Bundes I mean, the department, <laughs> sorry, I forgot the name. And let's see like if I get a proper feedback. And thanks for watching the video. I think the video was a bit long, but thanks for your patience. Please join the Facebook group, uh, Twitter. And if you're interested, please join in the discussions. I would like to uh, guide you in everything as possible. And if you have any questions, please put in the comment section and most welcome and have a nice day and bye-bye.